How you doing? Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to be talking about probably one of my newest things that I own that I am just completely obsessed with. Like, I just love looking at it. And it is my Polaroid camera. And now this video is going to be about like where I got it, how much it was, why I preferred this over the Fujifilm, and all little de details like that. Wait. Before we get started, yes, I am in a different area. Um, I'm in my room. I think I'm going to be filming in this area from now on instead of the library. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about it. Um, this could be a cool little setup, me filming here, and then I could probably like put more pictures up here because I have pictures here, but you can't see them because they're too high up. So, yeah. So, might change my setup. Now, I got this camera last month. I ordered it on the 3rd. It was shipped to me on the 4th, and I received it on the 6th. So, that's two days after it was shipped. Now, I did not pay for two-day shipping. I just got the regular standard free shipping that takes up to five to seven days. Um, and the two-day shipping is like 20 bucks. And I got it in two days for free. This is the Polaroid. 600 close-up instant camera um, I got it in the color lavender so my total for the camera was 139 but if you just get an all black it's gonna be ten dollars less at 129 um, I got the purple one because I thought it was cute um, the film for this camera is from impossible projects um, and I got the impossible color Polaroid um, film uh, for the 600 camera I got it at Urban Outfitters and it's $28 online. Um, if you buy it from impossibleprojects.com, it is $23.49. So it's cheaper from the actual place that sells it. It is pretty expensive, I guess. Um, you get 8 film instead of 10 like it used to be back in the days. <laughs> um, but each film comes with the battery pack. So, I mean... I guess you could kind of count the price for not only the film but for the battery pack that it comes with because without the film and the battery pack that goes in through here, the, camera, the camera's not going to work. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to start talking about the reasons why I got this camera. Um, I got the Polaroid over the Fuji film because I prefer the vintage look. I'm a very, like... I love the 50s, I love the 60s, so I like older things. I'm not really like into like new looking things. Um, and I don't I don't like the shape of it. Like everyone like basically has, you know, a Fuji film. It's pretty basic. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get a Polaroid. <laughs> um so I'd even show you guys how it opens. It opens like this. It's I thought I was gonna break the camera when I first got it because it's I I'm pretty sure this is like an old camera that they just fixed up, made it look all new because it's a refurbished um, Polaroid camera and I like couldn't open like it's still pretty hard to open I'm like oh my god I'm gonna break my camera so I'm, I'm trying right now oh but I don't know if you guys can hear it let me do it again wait it's, it's gonna do it now? hold on oh I don't know if you heard it but I was struggling to open it so this is what it looks like it has the um what is this? Oh, okay, so this is the camera hole where you see through. This is the actual camera. This is to um, change from light to dark. Uh, and this is like close up or, well, like close up and then this is for far away. And then the shutter button is right here. If you push it all the way, it's for flash. If you just press this button right here, it's without flash. And then the light here showing that it works this light is not on then the battery's probably dead so you're gonna want this light to be on and then right here is like the number counter and it counts back from 10 so you're always gonna wanna if it says 10 you actually have 8 film so once you get to 2 you don't have any more film left um so another reason other than the way just the camera looks I don't like the size of the film you get from the Fuji film it's the size of like a credit card when in the Polaroid is you know the normal Polaroid sized picture like I like the shape of it 
now when I got the film um, it came with like instructions on like how to use it which is the proper way to do things with the film like how weather uh, affects the way the film is going to come out so like if it's too hot or too cold the film could get messed up um, and the camera obviously came with one like directions and things but they weren't the best directions it told me that I can you know do flash without flash like I showed you the buttons on how to do it but it didn't, it didn't tell me to you know push all the way for flash or just push the one behind it for without flash so what I did that night when I got my camera I looked through a whole bunch of YouTube videos on Polaroid cameras and I finally after so many videos came across one that showed me how to take pictures with film with flash and without with flash and without flash um but through all those videos I was watching I learned a lot about what people personally how they feel about it and like what's what would they choose or um like recommend for people that want to get into instant film what they would prefer um a lot of people say that Fuji film is better for beginners because it's easier to come across because it is newer um the film isn't really expensive like Polaroid is and it's just the the camera itself is easier to take care of it you could just like throw it in your bag and you'd be fine with this camera because of the size of it and like the way it operates it could get messed up so you have to take really good care of your Polaroid camera um, and I know a lot of people were also saying to don't buy your Polaroid cameras from Urban Outfitters you know you can go to the thrift store and find one there for like two dollars but the problem with that is if I get a camera from the thrift store it might not work this way if I buy it refurbished from Urban Outfitters or Impossible Projects I'm gonna know that there's a better chance of it working or it, it will work I don't have a problem with spending $139 which I don't I don't think it's a lot I mean I don't get paid a lot of my job but I just don't think that's a lot like spending money for something that I'm gonna enjoy doing that I actually love doing like I don't, I don't care I'm gonna spend however much I'm gonna spend on it um so yeah so I you can go to the store and buy it but I would just I personally would just like I'm just gonna buy this one because I like this one and it'll work <laughs> um so I'm gonna show you guys some of the pictures I took this is the first picture I took the night that I got it it's of my rabbit you guys seen her oh I don't like the little glare that's coming from this so this is um bunny you guys seen her in my furry friend tag um this was used with flash um I think I kind of scared her because I was still trying to you know that was before I learned how to do the flash with with flash and without flash so kind of kind of scared her I love the way the picture came out it's a little purpley um but I love it that's also another thing why I love Polaroids because you know the film could come out bad you know it could be messed up and when you take a picture it ruins the picture but it really doesn't ruin the picture it gives the picture a cool like tint to it and I think it's cute I like it oh another thing do not shake your films when they come out if you get if you do get a Polaroid camera or I'm not sure if it same thing for Fujifilm but Polaroid do not not shake it even though your childhood memories of shaking it or you, you know don't don't do it do not do it you're not supposed to shake it it'll like mess up the, I forgot but it's gonna mess something up so don't do it <laughs> um, and this is another one that I took of my dog that you've also seen in my uh, furry friend tag and this one I took of my boyfriend because I walked in my room and seeing him like this trying to take a picture with this closed so I was like no give me the camera I'll do it so I took this one of him it came out pretty purple I think I used flash for this one too you're not supposed to shake them and you have to keep them hidden from light and they need to be in a dark area so as soon as you take the picture with um a polaroid camera i don't think the older ones like if you get one from a thrift store i don't think that one would have one but i know 
the refurbished ones from Impossible Film, uh, not Impossible Film, Impossible Project, they come with the frog tongue already. Um, you can also buy another one from impossibleprojects.com. They ha they sell the frog tongue by itself. Um, the frog tongue is something that comes out, um, I think before, or it comes out with the picture, and it like hides the picture from from light, from direct light, as soon as it comes out. Um, but after that, you kind of want to like put it in a dark area. I usually like flip the picture over and keep it as far away from light as possible. Kind of like if you put it in a book or something, just keep it away from light because light will kind of mess up the camera and not the camera, but the film and like the way it comes out. But um, yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below letting me know what you want me to do next. You can click right there to watch my previous video, and you can click right there to subscribe to my channel. It's free, and we can become friends, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!